In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multiple choice question in H5P interactive video. So here I am in Moodle. I'm on my course page. I'm just going to scroll down to my video and for this question, I'm going to use video 7. So I'm just going to click edit settings. I've already added my H5P interactive video to my course. So here I'm in the interactive video settings. If I scroll down to my interactive video editor, you'll see that we've already added our video and now I'm ready to add the multiple choice question. So I'm going to click on add interactions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead in the timeline to the part of the video where I want to add that multiple choice question. So right here, about a minute and 21 seconds, you'll see here that I've added a blank screen in my video because I knew when I was building my video that I wanted to add a multiple choice question at this point in the timeline. So once I've paused my video in the correct spot, I'm going to go up here and select multiple choice question. I always like to pause my video at that selection on the timeline and I like to pause it for about two seconds. And here I want to display it as a poster because I want it to take up the entire space of the screen. And now I'm ready to add my question. So my question is, turn the improper fraction into a mixed number. What does 8 over 5 become? So for this question, I want to give students four possible answers to choose from. So I'm going to type in my first answer, which is 1 and 3 over 5. My second option is 1 and 5 over 3. I'm going to add another option. 5 and 1 over 8. And a fourth option, I'm going to add 1 and 5 over 8. Now here are four answers that students can choose from, but I need to identify which one is the correct answer. So 1 and 3 over 5 is the correct answer, so I'm just going to click this box here to mark that this is the correct answer. So now that I'm done inputting my question answers and marking the correct answer, I'm going to click Done. And here, as you can see, the question has been added as a square on the screen. What I want to do is expand that square so that it takes up the full width of the screen. So there it is. Now you'll see here's the question and here are the possible answers. The neat thing about each 5P interactive video is with questions such as a multiple choice question, it's going to scramble all of your answers so that even though you wrote the correct answer as the first answer, it's going to automatically go ahead and shuffle all of those answers so that anytime a student opens the video, the answers are all in a different order. So now what I want to do is scroll down to the bottom and I want to test this to make sure that it worked correctly. So I'm going to click save and display. And as you can see here on the timeline for my video, there's a little white circle here at the, at the end. And if I hover, it says multiple choice, so that's right where I've added my question. So I'm just going to click on that white circle, and as you can see, here's my question. Now, if I hover my mouse over the possible answers, you'll see that it lets me select any of the four answers. I'm going to go ahead and select 1 and 3 over 5 as the correct answer, and I'm just going to click check to make sure that I've programmed that question correctly. All right, so now I get the green check mark, which means that I've selected the correct answer. And that is how you create a multiple choice question using H5P interactive video. And if you navigate back to your course in Moodle, you'll know that it's already been saved because when we clicked save and display, it's saved our progress.